This wall separates the United States and Mexico. Officers are stationed here around the clock. It's a dry and dusty landscape where illegal immigrants make the perilous journey to California. And they'll know that at 3 o'clock in the morning, a car is going to come by at mile marker 33.5 or whatever and pick them up. So they're hiding there. They're hiding there. Snakes, spiders and scorching heat. These are just some of the dangers here. To help immigrants survive, Enrique Morones and members of his so-called Border Angels team leave bottles of water around the desert. A simple gesture he hopes will save lives in a place where more than 400 people perish every year. The main reason why thousands of people have died is the lack of water. It's the number one cause. They die in a desert like this because they don't have water. We found dead bodies not far from here. Oh, this is the wall. And this wall was made... Attempting to cross the U.S.-Mexico border has always been perilous, but studies show it's become even more so since the wall was built in the 1990s. Many never make it, and thousands die trying. Among those, hundreds are anonymously buried in this graveyard. They're poor people, you know, trying to do good and get out and do better, and you end up dead in this way, not with a, a family, a funeral, a wake, uh, a memorial service or anything like that. You're just you're here in a hole in the ground covered by dirt in the whole of California. That's how it ends. President Obama's election had given activists hope for immigration reform, but that reform is now all but dead. Opponents fear organizations like this one may encourage illegal crossings, but Enrique, himself the son of Mexican immigrants, says he's just trying to help. Human rights has no borders. We really need to treat people with dignity and respect and, and honor their culture and traditions. We need to be building more bridges of communication with these countries, not walls of separation. This particular wall won't be coming down anytime soon. Instead, the U.S. government is sending reinforcements to keep an ever-watchful eye on the other side.